Hi right, guys, today you join me with the caddy again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be removing this latch. Um, I've got to take all this off, take this out. I'm going to be replacing this. I've ordered a new one, it's going to be coming here tomorrow. So I want to get this off. This is fine, but the cable that runs between it, obviously this is an older van. Um, and the front end that's going on it is a, a much newer van. And there is a difference in where these join up. So, this is the bonnet latch, that's where that cable operates. Uh, underneath here, excuse the, uh, the camera angles. So we've got a cable here that runs, so that runs from there, down there, underneath there, to there. Now from this point it changes, and then another cable runs from there, down through the firewall, and to that latch. Now these are different, so this is a different um, fixing. I was hoping that they did match up, but it doesn't. So that cable won't connect to this cable. So I've had to order one from a the newer style van, and we'll be retrofitting that into there um, so that the bonnet latch will work properly. And then we'll be getting the all the bonnet, um, we'll get the proper hinges on it, getting all the fixings correct, getting the the bonnet on lined up and um, working. We've got the headlights coming as well, so we're going to have a go at getting the headlights in a um, little bit of work to be done on them but we'll see all right let's get started now to take this off let me put a little bit of light on to take that off we've got to pop this piece off here we've got to undo this little uh, screw at the back marine screw and um, we've got a there's a little torque screw underneath the back of there so i've got to pull that back undo that little pop that little clip there and we'll get us get that off all right to get this off uh, it's quite simple it's the same for all sort of volkswagens audis skodas anything else um it's been a while since i've had this off so you'll have to bear with me hopefully i get it done first time but you take a flathead screwdriver um you go around the back of here like this trying to do this while holding the camera it's a little bit difficult I'll get myself a tripod one of these days so you just pop that in there and there's like a plastic tab I'll show you when it's off but you need to sort of get behind the tab and pull it towards yourself pull it away from yourself sorry so I'm in the tab there pull it away and you'll pop that off that comes out and then with a the bigger screwdriver pop it off like that so that's it dead simple that sort of sits where does that sit ah on that side so that goes in there like that and you're just popping that out and that releases it from the little from the little ball joint there look once that's off i've taken i've removed this this plug already i've removed that plug already and we'll take this bit off you do also have to take off these two side pieces so these bits of trims on there so you've got this this outside cover and then the one piece there because there's also a, a sort of cheeky little screw there so we'll uh, we'll undo that this is a t20 bit and most of the fixings on the inside of this car are t20 or, or t25 so you, if you're going to do any work you definitely need to get yourself a torx bit get it um get them on the end of a impact driver torx keys uh, are all right but you'll be there forever so you need to there's so many of them, you just gotta be gotta be able to take them in and out quite quickly. So I'll take this out. Put that down there. Uh, I'm gonna need both hands to struggle with this a bit. It's, it's popped in all around the sides, all around the bottom here with, with uh, like little metal tabs. So just bear with me a second. So as you can see that piece is off. That's it just there. And you can see the uh, the cable travelling up there, look. So we're going to sort of untangle this. It's all connected to the wiring, so we're going to undo the wiring loom because all we want to be doing is removing this black cable here. All right, coming around to the outside of the vehicle, I found the cable, the missing cable. So there it is. Um, as you can see, that goes underneath the wing there. Try a bit of light on that. So that goes underneath there through that little plastic cap at the back so we're going to remove this piece um, so we'll be able to get to the inner wing down there 
um, take all this out and feed that through. What I'll probably do is I'll probably attach a bit of um, a bit of string to the end of this, so that when I put it through, the string will stay exactly in situ. So when I'm pulling the other cable back through, I'm not going to be fiddling around trying to um, find a hole in the dock. I'll be able to just pull on the end of the string and pull that cable, the replacement cable, back through the other end. Now to remove that uh, that plastic cap, I need to come up on top of it. So it's screwed in just there, and I believe there's another one underneath this piece here. So I'm going to take this piece off, and take that off, I'm going to do another screw that's underneath there, and we'll get at that. Now what I'm using here is my little uh, my little sort of grab bag with all my smaller tools in it. I've got a little quarter inch socket set in there. I've got my impact driver in there, all my impact driver bits. Uh, adjustable spanner, a few other common size spanner sensors, and a little snap-on, um, that's like a multi-tip multi screwdriver. So, really nice little bag. I can hook it onto pretty much anywhere I want, wherever I'm working, and all my tools are on hand. I keep them off the ground, he says. It's on the ground. I've uh, done a little video on this. I uh, believe it was the first video on my channel, so uh, if you're interested in that, like the bag, just check that out, see what I keep in it. All right. So, we've taken this piece off. That was sitting on there. It's still clipped into the to the uh, to the bonnet caps there, so just move that up out of the way. Um, taking these two these two screws out from the top, taking this piece off. Put that out of the way out there. Probably won't ever reuse that because I think this is getting uh, this might be getting chopped off at some point to fit the headlights. Um, and then you can see uh, a little bit more detail. You can see the hole up there where this goes into. So we're going to feed that free. Um, hopefully put it out from the other side. The next day. So after a successful morning out, we've got ourselves a passenger and driver's headlight. The um, the passenger one's in better, slightly better condition than the driver's one. But it doesn't really matter because they're not going to be I'm not going to be keeping them forever. Probably end up reselling these at some point when I've um, upgraded my headlights. These are just temporary to get the van legal and running. Um, and in this box, uh, this is all from the sort of this is all from the main dealer. So the Volkswagen commercials. Um, so they're always worth a check when you when you're looking for parts. I know it's, I know everyone just sort of searches breakers and eBay and stuff like that. But always give the main dealer a call because all of these sort of bits they're actually in some cases cheaper from the main dealer. Um, not to mention I ordered these yesterday and they are here today. So uh, I could have spent days scouring eBay and waiting for postage and having to order from all different sort of places. I made one phone call. Give them a list of part numbers and they're all here uh, bar one i think one of the indicators for one of the wings and that's coming in in a couple of days so it's not the end of the world we don't really need that yet but we'll just put the order in at the same time all right we'll get started then so following on in here from last night um unfortunately it got a bit dark so i wasn't able to film very well and my phone battery died in the end anyway but this is what we were removing so this is the bonnet latch cable that goes from the uh, driver's footwell round to here. Came out really easily actually to be honest. It was, um, as we said, it went through, goes up through that hole in there. And then it came out just here. And then went into the uh, bulkhead just there. It was covered up by this piece. So that sort of, um, that attached on the side like that, and just covered up the cable. I guess that's so, so no one can pull it, or it just doesn't get frayed or caught on damage or anything. So this is just two 13 millimeters. It's like, it's like a plastic nut built into the piece. So you can't lose the nut in the engine bay. 
um, loosen them off and that just pops off and then you can you can see the cable and you can feed it down you have to sort of feed it out of this hole into the engine bay and then you feed it out of this hole into the engine bay as well and, it, and then it, you, you pull it out this way to get access to that you do have to take off the uh, the wiper motors so they're just three screws just there nice simple torx bits take them out pop that off move it out of the way um, and you can get access to that um, we'll start off by putting the new one in I guess um, little trip to the main dealer to get some parts most of the parts are off this front end so it is um, the idea is to get this front end complete um, it's got some wings and bumpers on it but the, the wings and bonnets sorry but they don't they're not fixed in properly the bonnet's not got the correct hinges on it so these hinges are for the uh, for the old bonnet um, obviously it's only bolted in just there I've got no bonnet latch um, I didn't want to put a bonnet latch on anyway and close the bonnet in case I wasn't able to open the bonnet um, before I got the new bonnet cable put in so we're going to do that um, put the bonnet latch on it we've got the bonnet stoppers that go in there obviously to stop the bonnet from, uh, from closing down too much the um, yeah I've got the headlights as well so we're going to have a little go at test fitting them see what we need to do so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got to chop a few bits of metal out so I'm pretty sure we're going to have to remove some if not most of this um, but we'll see we'll see how it goes the first job of the day is going to be installing the the bonnet strut i'm sick of this thing falling on top of my head um all the time putting a spirit level in let's hold the bonnet up it's not a permanent solution and um, this way is going to make life easier for everything else before we do that um probably i'm going to swap these over actually yeah so we'll we'll change these um these hinges out first that side on that side and put this on and then at least the bonnet will be uh, standing upon its own power then so I'm going to do this one side at a time. Hopefully the bonnet doesn't fall on my head. Uh, it's worth getting someone to help you do this if, you, if, you, if you're trying to put the bonnet on. But as it's sort of connected in at one side at least, uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to move the spirit level over to one side to hold the bonnet up. Um, we'll leave the hinge connected at the other side and then hopefully I'll, um, I'll probably put something underneath there as well to hold that, stop that from falling. We'll remove this bracket um, pop the other one straight on it and then um, swap it over to the other side. It's probably better to use a ratchet for the last bolt just in case this falls. Um, I can feel it go and I can stop it. If I'm using an impact gun, I won't do it. If it's off, it's off. One more to do. For this one, I need to spanner. Right, my bonnet, bonnet balancing well. Get this one nice and quickly. Get the other bracket on nice and quick.
looking at these two parts, they are almost a direct replacement. The only difference is that this one doesn't have the third hole. So it's got the two. They are in the same place. They do line up. Um, because at the end of the day, this this um, this sort of apron section is exactly the same part. <clears throat> I'm just going to reuse the same bolts. everything in loosely before you tighten anything up just so that you know it's all going to fit. Put one. Two on that. And put the other two back on. Now I've got a feeling Oh, this is slightly different. Let's see. There's a there's a small little nipple on there, which is for the gas strut. Now I ordered one of these, uh, but it looks like I might not need. Let's see. Just bend that into position. these back up and he's not going to be in exactly the right place and if it's tight we know it's not going to fall and we'll uh, we'll do all the panel adjustments at a later date when everything's on there's no point trying to trying to line panels up at the minute because for all we know this is going to have to move it's going to have to move so we'll just get it all on for now bolted in We did drop one down in the engine bay slightly. Hopefully it's not gone too far. Oh, I can see it. Let's see if we can get that out in a second. a bit more secure than it was was before now. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll try and get the gas strut on it um, so I can get this thing out of the way. Right, running to a problem. Uh, this is one of the issues with buying aftermarket panels. So this is not an original um, this is not an original Volkswagen bonnet. This is a sort of made in China rep. For the most part it's quite good but underneath here um, I'm just trying to attach this and there's supposed to be a, a small hole about I'd say about there threaded hole um, where you'd find one of these and that'll go straight through there this would attach to that and that's how the, uh, the bonnet opens and closes it's attached down here on the body I would have to do a bit of a modification on this to um, to allow this to work because the um, on the, the newer shape caddy, this, this piece is actually slightly further back, so it doesn't uh, interfere with this, but on here it's, it's on this part. That's not an issue. This this is, so we're gonna have to find a way around that. Um, maybe looking at, oh, I could probably get, I can get my hand behind there, I might be able to just drill a hole, um, use it, put a nut on the back, put the bolt through, put a nut on the back, um, and that will hold it there where it's supposed to be. So I might look at doing that. So I fiddled around with the bonnet a little bit. It was, um, it was sort of catching as it closed on, on the on the insides. So I've all I'm doing is just sort of 
loosened and tightened up all the bolts, moved them around slightly, tightened back up again just until it works. So now it's showing and closing in the right motion. There's still a bit of final adjustments to do, but I say we're not going to do that until uh, until the headlights and all the rest of the the, uh, the front ends on. I'm going to um, I'm going to refit the um, bonnet cable into the body. Now I've got a little pen light down there. I've got the little uni light pen light. Just showing that hole. It's pretty dirty down there. There's a few uh, few leaves and whatnot. And I did see a couple of little creep crawlies in there last time I was down there last night. We're gonna have to give it a really good clean out at some point, but. Um, like I say, I want to get the bonnet secure first. Um, you can see this hole down here, I just point to it down there. This is where this cable is going to go. And that goes straight through the foam um, sound deadening inside, and straight out into the uh, sort of underneath the dashboard. You can get to it from the, the footwell, so you don't need to take any of the dashboard out other than the bits that have already removed, so the two little side pieces. Um, but that will slide straight down there. And then this end, so the opposite end, the bigger end, that will go in this hole. And then back down the back down the wing. Actually, what we'll do, I'm going to send this end. This end's going to go into the bulkhead down there, but I'm going to send this straight through the wing. Hopefully, I can pull it all the way through. I do apologise, my camera cut out filming that and I didn't notice until I got it done but as you can see I've pulled that cable through there um, and I've posted it down the back as well if you can just might see that and that comes out just underneath there and it connects to that piece there just on the underside of that so we're going to connect that up I'll just show you inside quickly so if you look under here, there it is it's come straight free and then once I've connected it to the bonnet I'll come and uh, pop it, in fact no I'll pop it in down here first and then I'll connect it up to the bonnet. Shine a little bit of light on the situation. There we go. So this is the part it connects into, then this is the part that this connects onto. Um, I've removed this just to make it easier because otherwise you sort of you're at a really tight angle trying to pull that but it's as simple as popping that into there, bringing that round. There is um, a bit too much slack on this at the moment. That will sit just in there like that. So once that's connected, probably need to let's cut that off actually. That, that cable's got to go sort of behind this bit of wiring. Just bend that around. It's quite flexible. Down there. So, there is like a little uh, sort of holder for it, so it clips into the top there. Okay. Drop that in there. And then there's a little brass ring, and that sort of clips into the plastic there as well. can only fit one way, you just have to find the right way, there we go, so that's that, so I'll reattach that to the body, it's coming a little bit further down, like that, that's it. and this is held in with just two little um, Phillips screws, I'll start them off with a slip screwdriver just because they're a bit fiddly. And then I'll drive them in the rest of the way with the impact driver. that back on. 
and then you can replace the uh, the outside trim. I'm not going to do that yet because I still need to do a bit of work in there. Um, I've got to try and get some of this wiring. Um, and then, but you can replace this outside trim, put that back on it, and um, job done. I also don't know if this is going to work yet, so uh, I don't want to be messing around and um, put it all back together if I've got to take it apart. So I'm going to connect it up inside the bonnet, and fingers crossed. Right, you're now joining me at the business end. None of this is all connected, but it doesn't matter as yet. Um, it won't make a difference to the bonnet actually opening and closing. Let me out of the way. So this is where it connects into. I'm going to pop this off just for uh, just so we can see. Now the previous catch had a different fitting on this, so this um, this opens up like that as you can see. Um, these are slightly different. The the one that was on here before extended out to not much longer, and the there wasn't anywhere for this to drop into. It didn't operate the pull. This hopefully will do. Pull it forward, drop it. And finally, just going to pop this back on down there to uh, protect that cable again. Right, so I've quickly fitted that. Um, first time, lucky to be fair, just, just bolted that straight on, two bolts, one either side. Um, you can see, drops in, clips in, and the bonnet shut. Come round, pull the lever, got a nice sound. And we're open. Happy days. Right then, that's it for today's video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a bit. If you've got any questions, please feel free to uh, write them in the comments. I'll always be checking. Um, so I, I, I'm happy to help anyone out who's got any questions about their caddy or Volkswagens in general. Um, and yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have loads more videos coming in with this. We're gonna have a couple of videos out every week, hopefully. Um, We'll get this, this van near completion by the end of this month and we'll get moving on to the next project. Alright, see you on the next one.